Hold on now, pump the bricks. You can't start here. This is like halfway through. You gotta start from the beginning. That's cute. Not the beginning of the log cut. The first day. Geez, not that first day. The first day, day one of the 30 day survival challenge. I'm Zachary Fowler. And I'm Greg Ovens. And this is the 30 day survival challenge, Canadian Rocky. There's only one rule. If you wanna eat, you gotta catch and cook it. The 30 Day Survival Challenge Season 2 Canadian Rockies has been brought to you in part by Dr. Squatch Soap, Hidden Woodsman Gear, Go Prepared Survival, Outdoor Vitals, Wazoo Survival Gear, Simple Shot Shooting Sports, and Grim Workshop. Check out the link in the description below for the gear video of the 30 Day Survival Challenge. All right, bring in the girls, girls to mom's house. Yeah. You guys excited? Yeah. Are you gonna? Are you excited uh, to see Dad go away for a while? No. 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 You guys like it? Drama queens. Come here. Give me hugs. I'm gonna be gone for a whole month. All right. Can I get a toy? Why are you gone? How about okay? How about uh, trout skin boots? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll see what I can do. Yeah. Oh, they seem really heartbroken. <laughs> Mommy! Uh, to the kids, everything's in the moment, isn't it? PWM. My parents gave me a ride to the airport. They came up to help get me out the door to the Rockies. All right, guys. Love you. Big girl. Right. Love you, Zach. Have a safe drive back to Vermont. Got the air rifle. 100 pound bag. What's it gonna cost me? What is it gonna cost me to fly? to Canada. Yeehaw. What is it, firearm? Yes. It's an, well, an air rifle, yes. Yeah. Okay. All right, see you in Canada, buddy. 86, 85 pounds overweight. Once again, when I head out on my trips, I'm always overweight, but I come home really light. All right, 305 for both bags, the air rifle and the giant suitcase. And then it cost me a thousand bucks to ship all my stuff up there to Greg's. And, uh, and now I gotta wait eight minutes here, they said, to make sure that they don't need to open up the gun again and unlock it and, uh, and just to test it to see if it's safe, things like that. And then I'm allowed to go in. So it's a good thing I showed up early. I had a feeling this might be a smart time to be early. <laughs> All right, I'm cleared. Air rifle is on its way to Canada, and so am I. Let's travel by montage. It's gonna be a slow montage. Just kidding, let's do it. Wow, 
wow, I'm here. I cannot believe it. They uh, just come out of that thing and fit out your bags and there they are. It's amazing. I mean, sure, they just do that with your bags, but with my rifle? Seems a little odd. All right, I acquired myself a cart. Now I just gotta find Greg. Where is he? He's not the most cell phone handy person. So, I have no idea where he is. He hasn't replied to, I landed. Three days later. Hey, we found each other. Took a little while. <laughs> a long time. Ugh. Concrete jungle. To the bush we go. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Coffee time. Hey, there he is. There you Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, everybody, there he is. This is Greg Ovens. Greg was on a loan. Might be feasible with some kind of trap to get a pig. Okay. Same time as I was. How many days did you make it? 51. 51. 51 days. I always want to give you 53 days for some reason. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Me wow. Too. Look at that. Mountains going up in the clouds. You don't see that in Maine. They got a little hill <laughs> called uh, Katahdin and, and uh, that's about it. Compared eh? to that, yeah. So, you know, we got a lot of nice waterfalls too. You're gonna like that. So. so we came up the road two hours last night. Stayed at a little motel, and he's being the kind of you, you got some. Uh, you were being kind of sneaky last night. We, we got well, planned. Well, today we're going up to the ski hill that you might see in the picture there. And there's one of the biggest grizzly bears in captivity in the world up there. Thimbleberries aren't quite ready yet, but um, we'll have cow parsnip. There'll be lots of other plants we'll have. So, so. plants are good, and that's what one thing that uh, I haven't really been able to show you guys as part of our adventures because they're, you know, it's been pretty sparse during the different times that I've been doing stuff. You know, we just did it during the Wilderness Living Challenge. Had the cattail shoots, yeah. which were such a treat when you're, you know, days of eating clams and alewife fish and yeah. smoked fish and stuff. And you go and have something that's like a cucumber wild. It's so delicious. All the other adventures I've done, it's like uh, been really sparse on the vegetables, you know? Right. It's like, that's that's difficult. Yeah, that won't be the case. Yeah. Um, this is prime time for most plants. Nice. So. Oh, there's spotted one, our first grizzly. <laughs> never no, I've one? never seen a grizzly. Never no. seen a grizzly. So this will be oh, great. This will be a treat for you then. <laughs> So Greg told me there was gonna be blueberries. I didn't think about it. And I was thinking they're main blueberries, you know, the little low bush. They have high bush blueberries. Oh yeah, so, the, the I mean, bushes are seven feet tall. Those are my favorite. They're like oh, yeah. giant little plums of delicious. This is gonna be so awesome. It is. I mean, even if they don't ripen until our last week or something, that's gonna be a, what a treat. Yeah. What a treat. Yeah, who knows the fence? Other bears don't. They could charge, and then if you have a fence, Pretty done. What if you just decided to come chill out? You know, it's not as big as I thought he was. Now, black bears, as opposed to grizzlies, they're great climbers. Oh yeah, sweet vindication. 1.5 million views just because everybody wanted to tell me that bears climb trees. I know bears climb trees, but how many bear attacks actually happen up a tree? And according to him and other people, grizzlies are not big climbers. So that's what I'm banking on as we head further up into the Rockies to spend the next 30 days surviving in and around bears that could quite possibly be as big as this guy. So what do you think he weighs right now at this point? Uh, we expect he probably weighs at around 650. 650? We weighed him at around two weekends ago on the livestock scales down there in the isolation corner and he was in at 624 pounds. So with, from springtime to the end of the year, how much does he put on? So coming out, he would probably weigh around 550, and then maybe between 750 to 800, depending. That's probably what he will go in uh, at winter. It's like 300 pounds of putting on, on weight, a lot, especially during hyperphagia. At the moment, he's eating around 12,000 calories a day. Uh, towards winter, that gets up to 50,000. 
Now, we bring up your subs into some standard buckets. Near winter, they bring you up in tubs. It's quite the exercise. As well. I don't feel so silly for trying to put on a little weight for our 30 day survival challenge now. <laughs> we won't be gaining weight. No, we won't be gaining weight. <laughs> Pretty impressive. Yeah. See you later. He is one big bear. His claws are longer than your fingers. I hate to run into that in a, with a bad attitude. So, our last dinner before we head out elk steaks. Yeah. Can't beat them. We probably won't be eating this good out there. Right. <laughs> Throw it. Here we go, got some goodies for you. Well, this looks good. First off, that's the well, Hidden, Hidden Woodsman. Woodsman it says. Yep, yep, the Haversack. Hidden in USA. So and it's chock full of goodies. I'm going to put a link in the description below called Greg's Goodie Video. I brought him a ton of stuff from myself and from our sponsors. Some really neat things you're probably going to want to see if you're into that sort of stuff. So check out that link in the description below if you want to see the full unboxing of all these goodies I brought him. So Lifetime warranty? Yeah, yeah. With me? Do they know who's trying them on? <laughs> <laughs> Um, these T-bones are going to be good. Yeah. My first bite of elk steak. Ever? Mmm. Ever. Yeah, ever. That's good, isn't that it? is so... Good. Mm -hmm. You're gonna want to come I've back been, and go elk hunting. I've been hunting the wrong stuff. <laughs> it's good. That is yeah. really good. And you got this one yourself, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and you, what were you saying the other day? You've gotten one every year for the past ten years. Yep. Elk hunter extraordinaire, Greg Ovens, and cook extraordinaire. Thank you. I am gonna be living it up here in the mountains. Hopefully, as good as this. But for now, we're gonna finish our meal. We've got some rest to get in, so we can hit the hit the trail. Mm. Yep. This is so good. Enjoy it, cause we might not eat this good out there. No. We should be eating good, but we'll eat good. We just won't be having marinated we'll elk. Be marinated sure. elk. And definitely, definitely, no taters, precious. Mmm. Mmm. What is low for us? Feeling I'm bathing for the last time. Out in the woods, there won't be a shower. Just me and some cold mountain ice water. Good to be clean. Good to be clean. Get clean one last time before I hit the woods. Trimmed up the Wookiee a little bit. All cleaned up. No reason I can't uh, go into this looking pretty and smelling good. Cause who knows what I'll come out the other end looking like. It might look like we got a lot of stuff, but actually what do you think? A lot of it's camera gear. That's not pretty much <laughs> camera gear, isn't it? No, we don't want to run out of uh, SD cards, batteries, or the ability to charge them, their solar panels. Nope. But enough talking, let's go adventuring. Oh,
What'd you spot? Well, oh. strawberry blight. Strawberry tasting little berry heads on it. We're gonna collect a few of those. We're actually gonna uh, break this one off and bring it with us for a little snack. Um, and I never take all of the, the stuff because you want them to reseed themselves. But this is a plant that up here you don't see too often. Strawberry blight. And it's very tasty. I haven't seen a big one like this for a while. Mmm. Those aren't bad, eh? It's very mellow. Yeah. Wow. Really good. But good. Yeah. All right, we are here at our destination. This is our day one stop. We're gonna work our way further and further into the outback, but right now we're stopping right here. Day one's camp spot here. We got our lake down here. Ooh, look at that, all blue and clear. Oh, that is gorgeous. There's a nice little cliff over there. People actually- We're gonna do some cliff diving? Well, you know, some people do jump off that cliff. I don't recommend it, and I'm too oh, old for that. There's an eagle. There's an osprey. An osprey. Yeah, type oh. fish. It's so it's deep enough over there for it a cliff is. jump. It is, yeah. Huh. But, I mean, that's like 70 feet. Oh, I, I see the that. fish. Yeah, you can see them right in I the I see water. a little fish. There is like uh, fingerlings. Yeah. Some fingerlings. Well, they're like six to eight inches long, but they're easy to catch. Nice. This is so beautiful. Water is just so clear and just... I shouldn't have walked up here without our poles. Like he, Greg was just saying when I turned the camera off for a second. Shouldn't have walked up without our poles. We'd have ten already. I just wanted to take it in for a minute. There's an outhouse here. Well, better enjoy it while we can because this is just the first stop on our adventure. We're going to spend like three days here harvesting up some fish, smoking them, so we can take them further back and further in. Because as we get further back, a couple hours into the deeper in, we're going to leave the truck behind and then head up into where the grizzlies are and uh, where there's some secret hike in lakes. And that's where we're going to have to build our shelters up into the trees. So this will be a treat just to relax for me because I've been traveling so much to get here, to meet up with Greg, to get my stuff has been a fiasco, getting that through customs and everything. I am so excited. I am so psyched for this. But right now we have one more complication before we can even set up and fish and rest. Sack in the shovels. <laughs> <laughs> More gradual for sure. So. Oh yeah, piece of cake. Shovel for the win. So we decided not to set up our camp just yet. Take advantage of the fact that we're in the most beautiful place in the world to be fishing right now. And I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I gotta put some new line on. A lot of times what I do to get rid of line in a hurry is I'll tie it to a branch and, and drive down the, the straight <laughs> stretch <laughs> until it's out. <laughs> then just collect it. I was gonna say, you said you, you tie it to a branch, drive down the straight stretch and just keep going. <laughs> Never look in your rear room mirror I, again. I do pick it up. You do pick it I up. I do right. collect it. Because that was one thing I Well, said. because you catch birds and no. Yeah, and that's the one thing that's noxious. Nothing like when you show up at a fishing area and you end up with somebody else's fishing line tangled no, around your foot. No, no, I wouldn't do that. I mean, yeah. I wanted to get some fishing time. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then you also have a survival bird trap right there. You just put some bait in the middle of that and uh, you come back and then you got your bird. Yeah. <laughs> While we're getting set up here, I'd like to mention that we're going to have a competition. We're going to keep track of every fish we catch. Yeah, no, I was thinking about Patagonia, like who caught more? Mm -hmm. And Patag you got one more than me. Yeah. So, but on, on all the episodes of Alone, I wonder if there's anybody else that's caught more. More. I, well, I don't know. How many did you lose? I lost about, I lost 15. Because I kept track you, Wait, when you day. count the ones that you caught, do you count the ones no, that you lost? No, 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 no. <laughs> so then it would have been 70 something. Oh, so yeah. 64 landed. But some were All right, so I got minnows. you beat there. I only lost two. 
Oh yeah, no, I lost way more now. <laughs> and and it only is it's actually only one if you count the one that I lost and then I managed to retrieve with the hook it's still in its mouth a month right. later. So right, 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 right. Alright, we're down here and uh as you can see right there there's Greg's trap that he had set. And uh what else do I see down here, Greg? Well, that's that fishing rod that I le must have left here. Obviously. I mean <laughs> about a month ago when I was doing the video for the trap. Check out the link in the description below for Greg's channel and his videos on this series. Ovens Rocky Mountain Bushcraft is the name of his channel. It's not ready yet, but if you're watching this two weeks after the post date, the link may be active down below there and you'll be able to start watching his videos. I'm overseeing the edits on his videos as well as my own. That's why it's running a little behind, but they will catch up. It is a little tricky to set cameras up here though, eh? Hook and spoon thing going on here. These are usually pretty successful with the worm on it. You had a bite with this the first time I cast it out and known nothing. Got my first one here in Canada. I left my big camera down the shore because Greg and I were getting nothing over there. So I pushed on down the bank a little bit and nailed my first one down here. Let's see if we can get some more. I want to eat more than do this. That one little guy is not much. He's, ooh, spicy, that's for sure. About the size of a dollar bill. That'll do. That'll do. Get three or four of those. I'll make a nice little dinner. And now that he ate my worm and knocked my worm off there, I'll put some gills on the hook. See if I can't catch something bigger. Oh, got a second one, but I'm going to let him go. He's kind of tiny. There you go, buddy. Well, that's it. Four. Four little fish. This one I didn't want to get, but I... He was got hooked so bad I couldn't retrieve him off of here without really killing him. So, sorry I didn't manage to catch one on camera. I just, oh, I just got and so much traveling and so much work to get to this point. And uh, my camera discipline of walking away from camp without a battery. And uh, I'm all out of whack. I need a day just to be out here and catch my breath and... Uh, balance back out and some fish in my diet to feel better you know what I mean tomorrow tomorrow will be different let's go back and get that fire going get comfy have some fish Ooh, and relax it's been a long road to get here that traveling whew, takes a lot out of you all right fire's going fire's going I Jack. think Greg won our challenge I heard him over there you caught well, I caught four, but I four? let, I, let uh, I think it was three go. What of a conservationist. You're letting all wow. our food go. No, just kidding. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, and I got four too, but uh, he beat me to it. So. <laughs> but I got the fire going with the Wazoo fire starter. How'd you like that? Was, it works good if you, like, if you learn how to use it. Yeah, I, I didn't mean, even show you how to use it. No, but. It's a fire starter, right? It's a fire starter. Yeah. You know. <laughs> So, I mean, it's short, so you have to go fat. Well, I'm not getting sparks right now, but I mean, once you get used to how to use it, I mean, at least it's an emergency thing, right? So that that can, sparks pretty good. It sparks good. Well, once you get once you get used to it, you wonder why you ever needed that giant ferro rod. Yeah, if you yeah, I mean, it's just <laughs> short, short. Yeah, stuff. with a good piece of tinder, like the sear strip I keep in my wallet, they spark yeah. right up. I just used grass, but I mean, grass? dry rotted stump would work good too. Cool. Because it, one spark would get that glowing, and then you could make a coal, just like your friction fire bow drills yep. and stuff, right? So. All right, time to set up the hammocks. Greg's cleaning the fish. I'm going to set up our hammocks so we can get some rest after we eat. It's been a long day. Long day. Long couple days getting to
Yeah, you could probably eat them raw, but <laughs> I prefer them cooked. They're, they're a couple of small fries, aren't they? Oh, they're not big. You know. But we just work our way further and further, and the fish will get bigger and bigger, and the bears will too. Yeah. So it'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's beautiful out here. Man, is it, it is. beautiful. They're pretty tiny. Not a lot to them. Alright, I am in my hammock. Uh, man, this feels so good. What a day. Four fish in Canada. My first catch of this new Avenger. Oh. And I'm in my hammock. I feel like I'm back. I'm like home. I keep saying I'm going to set this up in my house and sleep in it. And I don't. But I never sleep so good as I do when I'm out here in my hammock in the wild. In the fresh air. Man. I really should do it. Just set it up in my backyard and just start living out there. At least when I go to bed at night. That'll be my bedroom. That, uh, not a bad first day. I don't know how it'll play out in the edit, if it'll be as epic as I, it felt for me, you know, seeing these mountains and stuff, and the, it just, it's so different from home, and it's been two years since I've seen mountains that rise up like this, you know, like when I was in Patagonia, and it feels great. Love being here. I can't wait to get up to more adventures, but for now, I am beat. And I'll go to bed. See you tomorrow. Fowler out.